I'm sure I'm not the only model builder that does this. As a matter of fact, I know that most of you guys do this. You start one and you can't finish it because you're too soon to jump on to the next one you want to build. That is my dilemma. I have good ideas and then when the ideas run out, it goes back in the box and hopefully I'll get to it another day. This one, I kind of went over my level of expertise, so I'm kind of waiting on it to get a little more experience. Um, I got this at Ollie's for like eight, eight bucks, and I want to do something really different with it. So I filled in the back door and all the seams and all that stuff. There's seams on the roof I got rid of, and I'm going to make this a drag car. Mail to order a resin Mopar blown engine for it. And I think it's going to look pretty cool when it's done, if it ever gets done. Uh, about a month ago, I bought this at Walmart because Walmart decided they were going to start selling models, at least for the uh, uh, holiday season. So I bought like eight of them. And this one, I really want to do something special with it, like I do with all of them, of course. And uh, I primed it. Actually, I ordered a cow hood for it, a resin hood. Because I thought it would look cool. And it does. It does look cool. With the big tires. Um, and um, it looks great. I, I like the way it is black. But I, I just keep fighting it. Like I want to paint it. Either flat or uh, gloss black. Or uh, a uh, a metal flake uh, black. I don't know. Maybe can somebody can tell me what their opinion is. If I get enough people saying keep it the way it is. I want to keep it the way it is. And uh, this model was the first one I tried to chop the top. I never finished that. That was a long time ago. I'm 60 again, like I said. That was back in when I was 27. This uh, Corvette here, I took a can of clear testers blue and clear green and 50-50 mixed them and then added a whole bottle of testers um, pearl blue flip-flop paint. Um... And it looks beautiful. I don't know if you really tell by the video, but it looks gorgeous. It really does. Um, that Mustang I bought from Kmart as well. And uh, I was doing good on it until I started rubbing stuff out of the paint. And I messed it up, so I got to do the whole thing all over again. It's not put all together. It's just just uh, jerry-rigged right now. Um and then this is the one I'm working on now. And I plan on getting this one done before I start on anything else. Um, I used a two-tone paint on this uh, duplicolor metallic blue and, and lighter blue. And uh, I got to wire the engine. I got the spark plugs all ready to go. Sorry for the bad camera. Um. <laughs> uh, Maybe one day I'll get a little bit more elaborate with this. Other than uh, a cell phone camera, I might maybe get a couple battery or uh, regular uh, uh, cameras with tripods and set them up, and then edit it after I'm all done. Uh, I just don't have the time right now. I got I do commercial HVAC for a living, and and then this guy right here takes most of my time. He always wants to be around me, and when I'm building models, he'll come down my shoulder and grab the paintbrush out of my hand, or the part out of my hand, because he wants to destroy it. But, um, alright, anyways, uh, if anybody comes to see this on my channel, thank you for watching, and um, if you can't say something nice, don't say nothing at all. Thank you.